So guys, friends, Peter from FS Bushcraft. Well, I was last week, actually last weekend, uh, this weekend we are just up here at the cottage on the property and uh, I was giving a new, uh, well I should say it's a new product, a new product for me to turn on and try. But um, last weekend, uh, Coke Raven Bushcraft, Wayne and I, were up at the, uh, the Atlantic uh, Hunting and Fishing Show in Sussex, New Brunswick. And there, it was an honor that I turned around and got to meet Mike Holland from Resourceful Redneck. Now, Mike was nice enough and he turned around and uh, gave me one of the Blazing Blade, in orange, as you can tell, <laughs> uh, hatchet to turn on a takeout and put it through its paces, give it a test, and see what I thought and give my opinion. Now, this hatchet has been around, uh, I believe it's been for quite a while, I think almost 20 years or whatever. Uh, since then, uh, Mike from Resourceful Redneck, they've uh, basically turned around and have got the rights to it, and uh, they actually manufacture and, uh, and, and sell the hatchet now. Um, the only thing I added is uh, through the lanyard hole, I turned in and added a small piece of paracord just because I found with it, I like to put it through my thumb and wrap my hand around. It just gives it a little more support, you know, if you're turning around and doing cutting or whatever. Uh, the handle itself, as you can tell, it's a one piece molded plastic handle. This little angle on the handle is what I really loved when I turned around and seen it. Unlike a normal hatchet where you know it comes straight across, this actually has a slight bend to it. And I don't know what it is, but with me, with knives and tools and stuff like that, I love the fact that there's a slight bend in it, especially in a knife when I'm carving. It's just, just the way I naturally hold my hand. I love that idea. Uh, and in a hatchet idea, it's really neat. Um, it, it just, it feels so comfortable. Now, on the end of the handle, how you can tell, it kind of bevels out here on the end of it uh, to keep it from, you know, slipping in your hand. Uh, I actually, at first I was kind of paranoid about it. I thought maybe it might, you know, kind of hurt the hand or whatever. But I myself with bigger hands, um, I find it doesn't bother me at all. So if I choke on up on it, nice and low there like that. And as you can tell, when I was uh, just cutting through this uh, piece of poplar that we had here, that, uh, you know, roughly about nine inches across, it took no time at all to turn on and cut through it. Now, the blade itself is made of a stainless steel, all full, uh, full tang, comes right to the back. But uh, if you can tell by looking at it, the profile is that uh, it's not a normal axe blade as far as being that, uh, you know, that it turns around and, and gives you that, uh, it doesn't have the flare in it. Um, this is basically, the easiest way to put it, to think of it would be a knife inserted into a hatch and handle. But as you can see once again with the poplar, no problem at all turning on and going through it on the bottom end here where I was cutting, but you could tell it was not all that rotten and dead. And you know, what, maybe two minutes, two and a half minutes, somewhere around there, to turn on and cut through it. Quite impressed with it. The other thing I like about the fact with the handle being the way that it is, is doing that detail of work like I was doing there a little while ago, you know, just kind of messing around. You know, definitely for feather sticking, you can really grab a hold of it and choke up on it, and it feels comfortable in the hand to be able to, uh, you know, as I was doing with this one, just messing around, kind of making a spear point on the end of the stick. It does it without a problem at all, and I can uh, just imagine with uh, doing feather stick. I was trying to find some wood, but unfortunately, like I say, up here at the cabin, we just had a drenchal downpour yesterday and last night, which was nice. We needed it in the area that we're in. But uh, it made it, uh, I just haven't been able to find a piece of wood. I had a piece there that I thought was going to be okay, but it's just too soaked. And going through it, it just, uh, it just crumbles and breaks apart. But uh, once again, the hatchet itself, like I can say it's a one piece mold of plastic. Weighs uh, just a little over a pound. Uh, the stainless steel blade on it. Retails on Resourceful Redneck for like $29.95. Great, 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 in my opinion, budget hatchet. Um, I'm actually a little jealous at the fact of being that, that I prayed my uh, my uh, Fiskars X7 hatchet so much as being my hatchet as my go-to, um, you know, especially in the wintertime. Um, I don't normally use a hatchet during the summer, 
during the spring. But uh, in the winter time, definitely going out and doing the winter camps. I believe a hatchet, you know, you should turn around and have. But uh, I think my X7 is going to turn around and find a spot on the shelf for a while. Because this one, the Blazing Orange, is definitely going to turn around and take its place. Just the functionality of it overall. Um, you know, like I had at the very beginning of the video here, turn around and, uh, you know, if you had to blaze a trail uh, going through a thicket, it does it without a problem at all. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't know where that came from. Blazing a trail, not a problem at all. And, uh, you know, any little minor work or detail, even up to if you did have to turn around and drop a full size tree, and here comes the rain again, <laughs> it turns around and does it with ease. So, once again, I'll put a link in the description below. And uh, at the same time, I just want to say again, Mike Holland, Resourceful Redneck, thanks a lot, brother. I really love the tool and uh, definitely turned on a look to, for it to more of the product. But uh, till then, you all take care. See you in the next one. God bless.